Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss an important application of Lagrange's mean value theorem, right? So as we know that Lagrange's mean value theorem, it plays a very vital role in differential calculus, right? So here uh, we are going to uh, apply Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, to prove this inequality, right? So here uh, we have to uh, prove that x over 1 plus x is less than uh, log of 1 plus x uh, that is uh, less than x, right? And this inequality is true for all x uh, greater than 0, right? And moreover here uh, we are taking uh, the notation uh, that is log log for the natural log ln. Right. So here uh, uh, it is understood that the base is uh, exponential number. Right. So let us start and let us first quickly see uh, the statement of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem. So Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, says that if we have a function say y is equal to f of x uh, defined in some domain uh, d right and uh, here uh, f of x is a continuous function uh, this function is defined in some interval say uh, a comma uh, b right and this interval is a subset of the domain uh, d right so this function f of x is continuous uh, in this interval uh, a comma b and uh, uh, this function f of x is uh, differentiable uh, in the interval a comma b uh, then Lagrange's mean value theorem says that uh, there must exist uh, some uh, point or some value c uh, which belongs to uh, this interval that is uh, a comma b uh, such that the derivative of uh, uh, this function at this point that is x is equal to c is equal to uh, fb minus f of a uh, divided by b minus a right so here uh, c is such that it uh, it is greater than a but less than b that is c lies between a and b right so this is the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem and uh, this statement uh, it would be used to uh, prove this inequality. So now to prove this inequality, uh, let us uh, here uh, assume a function uh, f of x is equal to uh, log of x, right? And uh, obviously the base of uh, uh, this log function is e. It means we are dealing with the natural log. Right. So let us here uh, quickly draw the graph of uh, this function. So here uh, we have uh, x axis and this is uh, y axis and uh, we know that uh, the graph of uh, log x it looks like this. See uh, here it passes through uh, this point to 1 comma zero right because uh, see when x is equal to 1 uh, f of 1 is equal to log of 1 and log of 1 is 0 right so um, the graph of uh, log x it cuts the x axis at 1 comma 0 so here uh, we are drawing the rough sketch of the graph of uh, f of x is equal to log of x right So this is the graph of uh, y is equal to uh, log of x and this is our point say a uh, that is 1 comma 0 right. Now here uh, let us consider another point uh, b right. So let us take this point uh, somewhere here. So here we can take the point uh, b right and obviously uh, this point b has uh, the x coordinate uh, so, uh, something like uh, 1 plus alpha right where alpha is uh, a positive quantity that is it is greater than uh, 0 right so what we have done here uh, we have this point a 1 comma 0 we are considering another point b uh, whose uh, 
uh, x coordinate is uh, 1 plus alpha where alpha is some uh, positive number right so now uh, the purpose of introducing this uh, uh, point b is that we have to uh, consider this interval right that is a to b right so here uh, we have this point a here we have this point b and here we have c x is equal to 1 and here we have x is equal to 1 plus alpha right so this point can be taken as uh, a uh, this a and uh, this point uh, can be taken as b right so now our interval is uh, 1 to 1 plus alpha right so now uh, here we have assumed the function f of x is equal to log of x and now we can say that this function is uh, uh, defined in this interval that is 1 comma 1 plus alpha so now this problem is analogous to uh, the statement of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem right y is equal to fx so here we have fx is equal to log x for this interval a comma b we have 1 comma 1 plus alpha where alpha is greater than uh, 0 right so now uh, let us uh, uh, apply uh, the Lagrange's mean value theorem to this function so obviously uh, this log function is uh, uh, continuous in this interval that is 1 to uh, 1 plus alpha and this function is also differentiable in this interval uh, 1 comma 1 plus alpha right so the derivative of uh, f is f prime of x and this is 1 over x right so uh, here uh, the function uh, log of x is continuous and uh, this function is also derivable in this interval a comma b which is 1 comma 1 plus alpha right so now uh, the lagrange's mean value theorem says that there must exist some point uh, c uh, between uh, a comma b such that f prime of c is equal to the quotient of f b minus f a divided by b minus a right so here we can take uh, the point c so here let us take the point c right so now uh, let us apply uh, this result to this function so f prime of c uh, can be written as 1 over c right so if we take uh, x is equal to c in this uh, expression we have f prime of c is equal to 1 over c right and for b uh, we have 1 plus alpha so we have here 1 plus alpha minus f of 1 uh, here we have 1 for a and here for b we have 1 plus alpha minus 1 right so we have now 1 over c f of 1 plus alpha can be obtained from this expression by taking x is equal to 1 plus alpha so here we have a log of 1 plus alpha and uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, f of 1 so this is uh, 1 plus alpha minus f of 1 is uh, a log of 1 divided by alpha so this one and this one get cancelled and log of 1 is 0 so we have a log of uh, 1 plus alpha uh, divided by alpha right so now this equation uh, can be written as taking alpha to the numerator of uh, uh, 1 over c so we have alpha over c is equal to a log of uh, 1 plus alpha right so let us call this as equation number 1 so now uh, let us apply uh, this inequality right see here we have uh, this uh, point x is equal to c lying between a and b so here we have a and b for a we have 1 and for uh, b we have 1 plus alpha right so now what we will do here uh, we'll take uh, uh, the reciprocal of all these uh, three terms right so what we will get uh, we'll get 1 uh, the, here we have 1 so we have 1 over 1 so we have uh, 1 over 1 
and then we have 1 over c the reciprocal of c and here we have 1 over 1 plus alpha right so when we take the reciprocal of each term the direction of the inequality get reversed right so we have now this inequality which can also be written as 1 over uh, 1 plus alpha and here we have 1 over c and here we have 1 right okay so now what we will do uh, we will uh, multiply uh, this inequality throughout by alpha right and see here alpha is a positive number right so the direction of the inequality remains the same because alpha is greater than 0 so let us multiply each term by alpha so we have now alpha over 1 plus alpha and here we have alpha over c and here we have alpha right so why we have uh, uh, multiplied each term by alpha because see here we have alpha over c right and here we have got alpha over c right so let us replace alpha over c by log of 1 plus alpha so now we have alpha over 1 plus alpha and here we have log of 1 plus alpha and here we have alpha right so now we have this inequality right and see this is alpha over 1 plus alpha less than log of 1 plus alpha and here we have less than alpha right so now if we replace alpha by x then we'll get this inequality right see if we replace alpha by x we'll get x over 1 plus x that is less than log of 1 plus x and here we have less than x right and for all x greater than 0 because alpha is greater than 0 right so this is how by the application of Lagrange's mean value theorem we can prove these type of inequalities